Okay everyone, it's that time of year again. 2024, Happy New Year. With this video, I'm going to be kind of bold because I'll lay out all of my predictions and all of the updates that I foresee happening in 2024 for Amazon PPC. You guys can hold me accountable for all of this. I'll make a follow-up video actually in December of this year discussing why I was right and why I was wrong. And with that being said, I have six predictions for you today. So let's get right into it. Okay, so my first prediction is kind of sad actually and set the off Amazon placement for a sponsored product will represent a much, much larger percentage of spend this year than it did last year. Last year we saw its release and honestly the performance was never really that good for any of the sellers that we worked with, but the good news last year was that it represented less than 1% of spend for SP. This year I see it reaching 5-15% to of spend and with that I see CVRs dropping across the board and ACOS going up for sponsored product and there will be no way to turn it off or decrease the bids for it. So I'll be stuck with lower CVRs and the same CPCs and ACOS will just go up for a sponsored product and it won't perform like it did in 2023 and the years before. My second prediction, unfortunately, is another sad one. And it's that exact broadened trades will become much, much worse in 2024. In 2023, we saw exact match no longer be exact. And we saw some similar keywords in our search term reports. And in 2024, I think it will become much worse. And the biggest clue for that is what happened with Google Ads. So if you guys have ever run Google Ads, you'll notice that exact match is essentially similar keywords to what you're already using. Phrase and broad are just random keywords. So I used to advertise on the keyword Amazon PPC software and broad, and I'd show up for things like Amazon Affiliate Program and Amazon Affiliate Miner, right? So essentially this year, I see the same happening with Amazon Ads. I don't think it will play out in full force. So it's going to get like 20, 30% worse. And the rest of the progression will happen in 2025 and 2026. But Amazon Ads closely follows the roadmap for Google Ads, if you guys have noticed. I think this means that the match types will become much, much worse this year. My third prediction is that we'll either see CPM or CPA bidding come out this year. The logic for CPA bidding is that Amazon wants to control your bids so it can raise CPCs even more. So instead of asking you for your base bid, what Amazon will try to do is get you to give it a uh, target cost per acquisition, like $10 or $20 per product sold, and they'll try to bid for you on your behalf to get you there. It's similar to up and down bidding, but they'll try to get more and more people to use it, and they'll use it to drive the cost of a click up, and obviously the performance will be nothing like Target. So you'll target a $10 CPA, you'll get a $15, $18, $20 CPA, and eventually Amazon's just going to control all of your bids, kind of like what's happening with Google Ads right now. So that's my first prediction. The second prediction is CPM bidding. Uh, again, Amazon has a bunch of placements that no one's really using, and they've been trying to force us to use those placements, like adding off Amazon to sponsored product. So I think CPM bidding will start to uh, roll out for sponsored products this year, and they'll use it to kind of increase the value of the rest of search placements that have a very low CTR, like on the second page, and some of the product detail page placements, and obviously the off Amazon placements as well. So they're going to roll out CPM bidding to kind of increase the value of those placements that aren't very conversion focused right now under SP. Okay, so prediction four is kind of a given at this point, but I want to give myself an easy win. So I'll predict that CPCs will go up at least five to 10% again this year. Prediction five is we'll see deeper integrations with AI on Amazon, and this will take form in bullet points and listings being completely made by AI and being almost perfect. And there'll be the standard way to make listing content. And I also see AI being added to the campaign creator to create custom images for SB, for example, as well as custom titles and text. So I think all of this stuff will be very high quality in 2024. And I think it will be the de facto standard for everyone. I don't think anyone will be manually writing listing content anymore. Prediction six is we'll finally see target negations uh, for product targeting sponsored brand campaigns. And that's pretty much it for this video. These are all six predictions. I'll write them down again here on the screen so you guys can review them. Feel free to debate me about any of them in the comment section. And also feel free to add your own. Uh, we'll revisit this back in December. I'll cover anything in the comments and my video. So just leave your thoughts down below and we'll meet again in December.